A single cardiac cycle is made up of the events associated with one heartbeat. Each cardiac cycle takes about eight-tenths of one second. During each cardiac cycle, pressure changes occur within the chambers of the heart as they relax and contract. As the chambers relax, they fill with blood. This is called diastole. When the chambers contract, the blood is expelled. This is called systole. At the beginning of the cardiac cycle, the atrioventricular, or AV, valves open. This allows blood to begin to flow into the ventricles from the atria. At the same time, the pulmonary and aortic valves are closed, preventing blood in the pulmonary trunk and aorta from entering the ventricles. Ventricular filling is completed by atrial systole, or contraction. This contraction results from a series of events beginning with the spread of action potentials from the sinuatrial, or SA, node across the walls of the atria. This results in atrial depolarization, which is represented by the P wave on the electrocardiogram, also called an ECG or EKG. Atrial depolarization initiates contraction, or systole. Atrial systole is represented by the PQ segment on the ECG. Near the end of atrial systole, impulses from the SA node reach the AV node. At this time, impulses spread from the AV node along the ventricular conduction fibers to the walls of the ventricles. This results in ventricular depolarization, which is represented by the QRS complex on the ECG. The atria repolarize, the walls relax, and they remain in diastole for the rest of the cardiac cycle. Atrial repolarization is not seen on an ECG because it is masked by the QRS complex. In ventricular systole, or contraction, increased pressure in the ventricles forces the AV valves closed. The heart sound associated with the closure of the AV valves is known as S1, often described as LUB. With continued contraction, ventricular pressures increase until they are higher than those in the pulmonary trunk and aorta. At this point, the pulmonary and aortic valves open and blood is ejected from the ventricles. Ventricular systole is represented by the ST segment on the ECG. In ventricular diastole, or relaxation, the ventricles repolarize. The T wave on an ECG represents ventricular repolarization. Ventricular relaxation results in decreasing ventricular pressure. During ventricular diastole, blood in the pulmonary trunk and aorta flows back toward the semilunar valves, causing them to close. The heart sound associated with closure of the aortic and pulmonary valves is known as S2, often described as dub. After the aortic and pulmonary valves close, pressure in the ventricles continues to decrease. When intraventricular pressure falls below the pressure in the atria, the AV valves open and the cardiac cycle begins again.